Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the kind introduction, intro introduction and uh, call. So my name is uh, uh, Hirofumi Kato, uh, uh, professor of archaeology uh, from Hokkaido University, Japan. And uh, also uh, uh, at this moment, I have the uh, position and belong to the Department of the Archaeology and Ancient History in Uppsala University as a visiting professor. So uh, we. Uh, at first, I want to say uh, uh, your uh, collaboration with uh, uh, from the uh, Uppsala University, and we have a uh, uh, second time in the joint uh, workshop in Uppsala uh, universities. And the last year, we organized the same uh, workshop in Uppsala, and this year, we moved to the uh, Gotland. Uh, so I'd like to at first want to say and, uh, thanks and to give it for us and a uh, very uh, good chance to uh, collaborate and uh, exchange and uh, sharing the uh, knowledge and information uh, staff from the Gotland campus and Uppsala University. So uh, today, I'd like to talk about the issue uh, uh, about the uh, relation, the issue of the relation uh, between the Ainu and uh, Japanese archaeology, and especially a uh, case study in Hokkaido. So I'd like to thank Neil Carl and other uh, scholars from the Gotland campus to give us opportunity to present today. And uh, uh, this is an uh, uh, outline of the, uh, my presentation today. So uh, I think uh, already uh, you know the uh, Ainu people, the indigenous people in northern parts of Japan. But I'd like to start with a little bit uh, explain and historical and uh, uh, ethnographical background of the Ainu people in uh, northern parts of Japan as indigenous people as a no in, in northern parts of Japan. And a uh, uh, little bit to trace uh, their ethno history uh, in Japan. And the second part is uh, uh, I'd like to talk about in the current uh, legal and uh, social uh, position uh, of the Ainu people. And the uh, uh, third part is um, uh, how Japanese archaeology to related with the Ainu people for the, in the field of the archaeology and anthropology, and a little bit of historical background and his, uh, research history. And the uh, uh, final part, I'd like to more focusing on the recent issues surrounding the Ainu and the Japanese archaeology, including the uh, collaboration and the repatriation, the ownership of cultural property and heritage ownership and so on. And the final part, uh, I'd like to show you a new challenge to we are just now started and try to the, making the new collaboration and the new relationship with Ainu people. It's a general uh, outline. So, and first of all, and I'd like to explain in the situation, a general situation in Ainu people in northern parts of Japanese island. Are uh, in Japan, uh, Ainu people now they have a stay, it's not legal, pure legal, but they have a public uh, po uh, formal uh, position of the indigenous people in Japan. But historically and uh, ethnographically, they are divided to the, for the two, four regional groups. And the most largest population uh, there are in Hokkaido Island, in the central part here, they are uh, calling the Hokkaido Ainu. And also, or in northern island, Creel Island, the northern part of Creel Island, also uh, historically, uh, there, be, uh, there was a, there were the Creel Ainu population. And uh, Saharin Island, northern southern part of Saharin Island, also uh, had been uh, lived in the Saharin Ainu people, or uh, and some of the group of the Saharin people migrated to the lower Amuru region. Now uh, in Russian, uh, Russian Federation uh, in Ainu, uh, Saharin Ainu people in the lower Amuru region, they are categorized as a part of Uruch people. It's not categorized as Ainu, as a part of the other uh, ethnic, ethnic groups. But two groups uh, now in this situation is uh, their t original territory now on the, uh, under the control of the Soviet, uh, Russian Federation. 
And uh, unfortunately, now it's not visible in current uh, nowadays, but uh, uh, in historically until uh, early 18th century, northern part of Honshu Island also lived in the Honshu Ainu uh, people. And also, interestingly, at uh, the end of the 19th and uh, tw early 20th century, through the controversy of the Meiji era, some scholars uh, were already pointed out that Hokkaido Ainu uh, don't use, uh, didn't use uh, the pit dwelling, don't use the pit dwelling. But uh, on the other hand, the Kuri Ainu people and the Saharan Ainu people are uh, traditionally still used uh, pit dwelling. Uh, and uh, uh, they, are uh, they are regarded as uh, uh, evidence of differences between the inside the Ainu population. Uh, now, uh, in this, uh, 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 at, the, at this moment, according to the Living Conditions Harvey, which uh, conducted in 2013, uh, Ainu population in Hokkaido estimated uh, to be just 60,000 uh, 786 people. It's a quite small number. But this number does not include the Ainu population around the Tokyo and Osaka in large uh, city area, only just only inside uh, Hokkaido Island. So because of the, uh, some of the scholar pointed out, including the hidden number of the Ainu people, maybe total number of the Ainu people in Japan, maybe 300 or 200,000 people. And uh, in Hokkaido, oh, oh, uh, oh, it's a se uh, secondary as a relationship with archaeology. So archaeology in Japan uh, started at the same time with the modernization in the Japan. So oh, initial stage of the Japanese anthropology and archaeology were founded uh, uh, when the two disciplines, archaeology and archaeology, uh, were imported from the Western Europe and also North America. Uh, during this stage, Ainu people were treated as a such sub research subject and uh, uh, known as the living stone, stone age inhabitants in the Japanese archipelago. Uh, many of the founders of the anthropology and archaeology in Japan uh, through that, that Hokkaido or island is an important and the main field area uh, to solve the issue who were Stone Age inhabitants in Japan. In 19, uh, 1892, uh, founded first laboratory of the anthropology in Tokyo Imperial University. And uh, uh, Professor uh, Tsuboi Shogoro, uh, the first uh, he was uh, appointed as the first professor of the anthropology in Japan. He opened the uh, first uh, laboratory in Jap anthropology in Japan. And uh, in 1916, a little bit later, uh, also uh, Professor Hamada, he educated, graduated in Tokyo University, Inter Imper Imperial University. Uh, he had studied in the Europe. And after come back to Japan, he was opened, founded the first department of archaeology in Kyoto Imperial University. And uh, Professor Hamada uh, uh, became, uh, he was appointed as the first professor of the archaeology in Japan. And also, I can say that he, is a very, he, he has a very strong connection with Swedish archaeology. He uh, first people in Japan to translate the typological method from the uh, Oscar Monteros, uh, Professor Oscar Monteros' work. It was the first publication in Japan to import the Western uh, basic concept of the archaeology because of Swedish archaeology and the Japanese archaeology had a very deeply historical connection. But not so many people know it. <laughs> and the uh, uh, same period. In Hokkaido, uh, I, I already I said in Hokkaido was a very important archaeological field for seeking the Stone Age descendant in Japanese archipelago. But all of the uh, institution, academic center located in only in main island. And the scholar came from the main island side to Hokkaido 
there are it's gather of the many number of the Ainu human remain and archaeological material from the Hokkaido Island. But in Hokkaido, uh, so long time never been in the founded in the systematic educational system and uh, uh, formal or uh, archaeological institution. And very strong, interestingly and surprisingly, uh, uh, yeah, before that, it, uh, our university started as a uh, agricultural, uh, support agricultural college. Uh, the first institution uh, the public, uh, gives for students a bachelor system. And all of the uh, scholar was uh, American. And all of the uh, subject taught in English, in not Japanese. But this uh, our uh, first uh, form of our university is renamed in 1980, 1980s, renamed to the Hokkaido Imperial University. But that period, all uh, even yet that, but that period is not open, not founded in the archaeo Department of Archaeology and the Department uh, Department of the Anthropology. Still, before Second World War, Hokkaido was just a simple research field. It's not to the uh, uh, direct connection with academics and the local community. And when, that case is when, founded the first archaeological laboratory in our university, and in 1966, founded the laboratory of the archaeology in Hokkaido University, and Professor uh, Toshio Oba, he uh, was appoint appointed as the first professor of the archaeology in Japan. And also, personally, I'd like to say, this year, I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so and uh, next and archaeology in Hokkaido uh, uh, archaeology of Hokkaido after Second World War uh, gradually accumulated archaeological information and resources and became more clear its original <laughs> historical characteristic if compared with the uh, main island history. But now we can know we know this difference is more clear can see the after uh, especially and, uh, when compared with the uh, chronological scheme between two islands. Now we can see the large differences after the Jomon culture. Jomon culture is a Japanese Neolithic. Uh, started uh, uh, over uh, 12,000 uh, years, uh, uh, 12,000 years ago. Uh, and also, our uh, Jomon uh, culture were very uh, famous and one of the uh, Ari, uh, this culture is the emergence of the Ari pottery in the world. Uh, but main island side, after German culture, uh, changed to the uh, new archaeological culture and the Yayoi. Yayoi culture uh, has a strong influence from the Chinese continent, and the population of this culture uh, had a, a rice cultivation and the metal industry. So, oh, but we have not a uh, similar situation in Europe and other territory. We cannot, we could not to divide it Bronze Age and Iron Age, because of the at the uh, Yayoi period, at the same time, and met, uh, metal industry including the bronze and iron to uh, together to import it to Japan with agriculture. So, and uh, we could not do the using the three age system in Asia. But also, second point I'd like to uh, focusing on the uh, uh, chronological differences in Hokkaido is the uh, no, Honshu, main island Honshu. And Honshu is after Yayoi gradually started shifted to the uh, process of the forming process of the state's formation. And uh, started the hunter gatherer society to agricultural society. And this Yayoi culture was a class society and the chiefdom. So gradually started the state formation to the mid, uh, Asian period and the medieval period. period. But you can see now in the Hokkaido Islands case, in Hokkaido, after Jomon, also continued the hunter-gatherer culture and hunter-gatherer tradition, never uh, seemed to uh, state formation process. And uh, uh, after 13th century, to this prehistoric archaeological uh, culture to uh, shift to the ethnic formation process in the Ainu culture. So uh, I already say in the Ainu culture in archaeological uh, context, now we can, uh, we can say in around the 30th century AD in Hokkaido emergence of the uh, historical Ainu culture. But before 30th century in Hokkaido, 
uh, exist in the two different archaeological culture. It is divided in the geographically north, east, and the southwest. And north, uh, southwest uh, pre archaeological culture we call them the Satsumon culture. And Satsumon culture has a, diff a strongly influence and connection with the ancient society, many islands of Japan. And the uh, inhabitants and the population depend, uh, has, uh, economically depend on the hunting and fishing and a little bit uh, they are used in the village cultivation. So from uh, in this uh, current from the current perspective, we can categorize and the Katsumon culture like a complex hunter gatherer com uh, society. And the uh, Satsumon culture also used uh, many of the iron items and very small number than three six. And mainly uh, iron item, uh, agricultural tool, and also sword and uh, battle item is uh, imported from main island side. And uh, they are only used for the risk and the small round scraper uh, made by the obsidian tool. Uh, this obsidian tool, uh, round scraper, using for the hide working for the mainly in the their 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 far and their skin. And at the same time, in the eastern northeastern part of Hokkaido, exist in the different archaeological culture. We are uh, calling this culture in the uh, other Ohotsuk culture. And Ohotsuk culture uh, is not a local domestic culture. Uh, this culture also has a strong connect, cultural connection with uh, uh, continental China, Lower Amur. And also, uh, subsistence economy of the whole culture, quite, uh, if compared with the Satsumon, is quite different. There, uh, we can say that there are the marine, pure marine hunter gatherer. Their subsistence economy depends on the sea mammal hunting and fishing. And also we can see in many of the uh, very uh, original characteristic uh, cultural items in Ohotsuk culture. And uh, also they have the many of the bronze ornament imported from the China. And the housing system is uh, quite different. Shape of the pit house, they are also both of the population used in the pit house. But uh, uh, Ohotsuk uh, Satsumon culture's people, they are, uh, they are pit house in the uh, rectangular form. But, uh, and also uh, with the cooking stove. But the uh, uh, Ohotsuk culture's people uh, lived in the uh, different shape of the pit house. They are more rectangular and also uh, I don't know, uh, without uh, a cooking stove. And also size of the uh, pit house is quite different. And Satsumon culture's pit house is quite small. Probably, and this Peter house lived in the single families, but Ohotsuk culture, the Peter house lived in the large families uh, 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 style of the Peter house, and also ritual, uh, ritual and belief system between the two cultures are quite different. Uh, more Satsumon culture has strong influence from main island Honshu and Kofun, and also Balo, they have the round battles. But Ohotsuk culture people had a very strong, uh, interesting the, uh, ritual system. Is uh, one side of the corner uh, of the pit house, they had a holy space and uh, concentrated biascal. It may be very similar with the Sami uh, tradition in North Europe. And the shape of the uh, shape of the pottery and the ornament system also different. Is not so mixed. And also uh, hunting uh, a subsistence economy is uh, there uh, different. Background. <coughs> but after the very interesting and after two archaeological culture, emergence of the historical hind culture. <coughs> Probably in the process of the forming process of the culture, uh, both of the two culture in integrated integrated to each other to move to the making the new hind culture. So now we know that we can pick up to the different cultural, act, uh, cultural aspect from the, some of them from directly related with the Satsumon and another one related with the Ohotsuk culture. And also Ainu culture, we can say, uh, we can see uh, this culture has uh, two uh, different uh, stru cultural structure. And material culture also we can divide it to the two categories. One of them is the imported item uh, from the uh, trading with the surrounding area, uh, 
Also, these are the imported items uh, played a very important role for iron ritual system and uh, uh, cosmic and the cosmology. And uh, self-made item also very important for them. So it's uh, just a, a simple uh, model of the traditional uh, historical iron culture. And uh, also we can see the differences of uh, uh, housing uh, pit house system. And uh, Satsumon culture, sty Satsumon style culture pit house and the Ohotsuku style pit house is a structure, inside structure of the pit house is quite different. And the kitchen sto uh, uh, cooking stove uh, in the uh, uh, in the Satsumon culture, but this like a uh, cooking stove never can see in the next stage of the uh, Ainu culture. Ainu culture, the house structure is much more similar with the uh, Ohotsuku. But uh, pit house size is uh, uh, it's not similar with the uh, Hohotsk culture. More pit house much more near, close with the Satsumon culture. And also ritual space, uh, but if compared with the, between the Hohotsk culture and the Satsumon culture, we can see a very interesting similarity. Uh, there are both of the Hohotsk culture and the Satsumon culture has a bear cult system. But the uh, uh, location of the holy place uh, and the relationship with the house is between Ainu and Ohotsuku is different. Uh, Ohotsuku culture is the holy space and the skull of the bear, cow, bear, bear skull located inside the uh, in one side corner inside the pit house. But uh, Ainu culture the holy space in outside of the house. So, but we can see some similarity. Okay, so uh, it's the second part. So history, uh, Ainu culture, uh, but after uh, uh, 30, uh, forming the 30th century to continue the several hundred years. But when started modernization in Japan, and Ainu culture strongly uh, modified and uh, their cultural uh, activity disappeared. Uh, because of, uh, we can see in, in this process of the uh, assimilation uh, and the policy, uh, uh, assimilation policy process uh, in the inside Ainu culture. So, first of all, so long time Hokkaido Island not categorized of the formal Japanese uh, territory. But end of the Tokuga Shogunate, 18th century, Tokuga government started more mention about importance of the Hokkaido Island because of the gradually Russian Marine to come to the Faisan Asia, started some of the conflict between Japanese and Russian. And uh, uh, Shogunate government, they decided to the whole of the island controlled directly from Edo, Tokyo, currently Tokyo. And uh, uh, after the, uh, before that, uh, it's very important that before 18th century, uh, formally, uh, legally, Hokkaido is not categorized as the formal, formal ter territory of Japan. But after uh, Meiji Restoration in uh, 1867, a uh, new modern government, Meiji government, uh, they are more systematically started assimilation uh, poli uh, policy for the Ainu, pe Ainu people. First of all, they are renamed name of the land from uh, Ezochi to the Hokkaido. Ezochi is meaning Chi is the land. Ezo is the old name of the Ainu. So before that, people recognize that Hokkaido is the original territory for the Ainu people. But the major government using the name to the quite different Japanese name to the, uh, this island. And uh, pro, uh, after that, then the uh, government prohibit uh, uh, traditional hunting system and the fishing system for the Ainu people and uh, making the new uh, uh, law special, specialized for the Ainu. And also, it, surprisingly, this old legal system continued until 20th century. And 20th century, before, before, until 20th century, in legal system, uh, uh, Japanese government called the Ainu people as Aboriginal people in Japan. And also in the archaeological situation, current archaeological situation in Japan, we can see some issues, unsolved issues. Um, unfortunately, uh, in Ainu people has not, uh, uh, is not protected by the, by the legal system, uh, their ownership for the cultural property. And uh, also Ainu people or, uh, uh, strongly to want to get back uh, uh, anthropological collection, uh, uh, I mean in the human remain collection, 
an ancestral human remain collection which stored in the university and the institution back to the community. But we have not in the uh, like United States and the systematic legal system. And also more se uh, serious problem is uh, still not uh, encouraging the Ainu scholars. It's big differences between the Sami people and the uh, Ainu people. So uh, finally, we, I can say uh, the relationship between the scholars and people is not equal. But uh, Ainu people also try to uh, get back their title right and uh, uh, tradition from the government. And uh, some of the, we have uh, court, study, court case studies. I urge that to ask to the government and the uh, district court to give us for the, their uh, getting for the formal uh, land title and their ownership of the cultural property. And 1979, we have a very good court case decision uh, conducted by the uh, uh, support district uh, court office, uh, the support district court decided uh, they are recognized as a Ainu, traditional Ainu culture in, in Hokkaido. It's not including a clearly land title for the Ainu, but uh, it's a fast decision, legal decision uh, by the uh, Japanese legal uh, court system. And also now we, have, we are facing the serious pro, uh, problem is the uh, uh, human remains issue. Uh, in this moment, uh, in the historical process, uh, many of the uh, anatomists excavated Ainu's ancestral human remains from Hokkaido and the Saharan Island and the Kuril Island, now stored in 12 Japanese universities uh, around the, uh, one, uh, nine, uh, nine, 1600 uh, human, individual human remains stored in Jap 12 Japanese universities. And uh, uh, also we know and collected the human ancestral remains have been also stored in museum, in Natural History Museum in London, and uh, uh, Germany in Berlin, and also in Russia in Moscow and St. Petersburg, and Australia in Melbourne National, uh, National Museum, and other uh, Western countries too. too. But this picture is said in the making the speech statement in the president, president, current president of Hokkaido Ainu Association for, uh, in the uh, uh, ceremonial uh, activity at the ant in our campus uh, for the uh, asking to the scholars to uh, get back to the human remain to the community and decided to the these issues. And except for the formal action, and then some of the local community members try to the, uh, also try to back to the human remain from the university to the local community. Uh, last summer, uh, we had a first uh, repatriation uh, case study from Hokkaido University to the one of the central parts of Hokkaido area. Um, the, uh, six, uh, 12 human remains which stored in the Faculty of Medicine in Hokkaido University back to the uh, Urakawa town. And also, uh, but, all, but, but, but uh, mostly and human remains in stored in university and institution, over the 1,600 human remains, uh, mostly is not with, without personal information and back data. So very difficult to back to the directory to local community. So and the government, <laughs> Japanese government now is they are planning to making the uh, national uh, keeping place in the one of the uh, area of the Hokkaido to collected all of the uh, human remains from the twelve Japanese university, uh, including the university, to store in one place. Uh, but this uh, uh, issue also included a more serious issue is that uh, it not in human remain uh, issues is not only the uh, old correction. Also, uh, in ongoing the excavation in Hokkaido or every year excavated Ainu graves. So how decided to the excavated high, uh, Ainu human remain? Also, new collection have to stored in the uh, keeping place, or we will we will create more uh, reasonable or uh, uh, guideline 
for the collaboration between the Ainu people and the uh, scientists. And also at the same time, the government wants to plan to found the new national museum in Hokkaido, a national Ainu museum in Hokkaido, and national keeping place now planning uh, will built in this area outside of the national museum. So now uh, we are trying to the compare with the uh, other Asian situation. So unfortunately in Japan still have not a systematic legal system for the Ainu people. So I, I just visited the last December in Taiwan. In Taiwan is also one of the uh, small islands in Eastern Asia, but the local government very well developed a uh, legal system and uh, co collaboration with uh, indigenous people in Taiwan. So if compared with the two islands, we clearly can see they have the more well covered, protected the so indigenous right. And uh, they also have a government system specialized, especially uh, focusing on the indigenous issue in Taiwan. And also uh, Cultural Heritage Private Preservation Act also protected of the ownership of indigenous cultural property for the uh, Taiwan people. And uh, this indigenous <coughs> people basic law also uh, promise to the Ainu peop uh, indigenous people Taiwan has a part of the land title and also ownership and also they have the accessibility to the scientific work inside territory. And most importantly in the last year, new president of Taiwan, uh, Ms. Tsai, she said formal apology to the indigenous people in Taiwan from the government. But in Japan, in Japan we also the same period started the new policy making process, but still now we have not systematic legal system for the Ainu cultural property. So in this situation, I have to finish. Uh, in this situation, uh, last year, we started round table discussion uh, between the two uh, scientific, uh, academic society and the local Ainu uh, society. Uh, Hokkaido Ainu Association and uh, uh, Anthropological Society of Nippon and Anthropological Anthropologist Society for the Anthropologists and also Japanese Archaeological Association and two academic society with Ainu Association try to discuss about past uh, uh, scientific study for the Ainu people and we try to the critical evaluation and also try to the making the new uh, collaboration with Ainu people and the academic association. So we had uh, organized a public symposium last, sum last uh, summer in Sapporo. And also we making the uh, new uh, statement from the two academic society uh, collaborated with the Hokkaido Ainu Association. So we want to try to the, uh, uh, making the uh, new guideline uh, for the uh, scientific work in the future. And the most important part is here. Uh, of course, it's very important to the making the guideline for the scientific work. So in this moment, if we are scientists working uh, in the Hokkaido island, excavation or uh, anthropological work, we don't need it to get agreement from the Ainu community. And also we have not to the formal or check, checking system and the checking system, uh, including the uh, perspective of the Ainu people. So we want to found uh, the new uh, research committee, ethics committee, including the member representative from the not only the academic community, also Ainu people. So we are selected the committee member of together and uh, all of the scientific work in the future, which related with the Ainu's culture and the history uh, in the field of the archaeology and anthropology, uh, we have to, at first stage, we like to try to check and aim and the background and the benefit and so on. And also we want to try to invite other uh, academic community for such as uh, cultural anthropology and sociology. Okay, and the time final uh, slide in the conclusion. And in this moment in Hokkaido, engineers' policy for the Ainu people in Japan are not still enough and leave the problem to be solved. And the contemporary meaning and value of the archaeological heritage for the Ainu people is not clearly uh, presented still now. But we are challenging the future to the future. 
And for establishing the new relationship between the Ainu and the archaeological community, we have to work as a next point in a new indigenous policy, including the ownership and access, accessibility, access, access, the right of the access, access, access stance and the Ainu people to the cultural heritage. And also, on the, uh, this like action have to the protect based on the uh, law of protection. And also, establishment, establishment of the educational system for the development of human resources on the, for the indigenous cultural heritage and the legal system. And also have to development of the human resources who can understand it to this problem, both side in Ainu and the archaeologists. Thank you very much, and uh, uh, I'd like to finish with my talk. Yeah. Thank you for attention. Thank you so much. That was really interesting to listen to.